Hi, I'm Artistic Cece. Today, to celebrate that I got 100 subscribers and I, that I've been a full year on YouTube, which is impressive, I'm so mind blown, um, I wanted to do a little Q&A. So I asked um, my followers or my moods on both uh, Twitter and Instagram to ask me some questions and I have them right here, so I'll be answering some of them. I mean, all of them. There were not that many. <laughs> uh, what's your current project origin story? My current project, as you all know, is called Three, which is a webcomic fantasy um, action mystery and a little bit of romance. And it started out by being a Game of Thrones fanfiction because I had an idea to create a Game of Thrones fanfiction and then I had the idea of the world like with the goddesses and all of that so I did a little mix and that's how three came to be. Um, the idea of the goddesses came to be because I was thinking about how religions work and how they start and I decided that I wanted to make a story where like color was the most important thing um, in their religion like they believed that life came to be with the colors mixing so that's how I got the idea to create the three primary goddesses and the black and white demons and from there this is the whole um, world happened by itself to be honest so yeah that's that's the origin of three how do you think such fun things to ask your followers this is uh, related to my Twitter so if you don't follow me there do it <laughs> and basically I generally um, ask questions to the community because I have those doubts myself or those curiosities like for example if one day I'm working on thumbnails I get curious about how other people do thumbnails because I feel like the best way to learn how to do comics or do anything art related really is to see how other people do it and to get inspired by their work and then use in your own work the parts that you like from others and not the ones you don't like and then just start developing your own style and your own process so that's kind of what I do and the questions in themselves I just I don't really have a process, I don't write them down um, they just come up I don't know, it depends on what I'm doing and what I'm currently thinking about. For example, if I'm thinking, how should I market my comic? I just ask the community how they do it. And that, that's it, really. Um, how long do you envision 3 to be? Well, the first volume, I already have it all written down and it's 25 uh, episodes. So, first volume is 25 episodes and then I want other two volumes which should be around the same size but honestly I don't know because I don't have them written so far I know what I want to happen in those volumes and I have like this story thought out but I don't have it actually written um, but it should be around the same size maybe a bit bigger because well I'm learning and maybe the following two uh, volumes will be better done and written and I think I'll expand the story and explore more the details that I've been doing in the first volume because for now I want to actually advance in the story because I feel if, if not it's too slow if I uh, pause on every detail that I want to tell it's gonna be um, I'm not gonna advance in the story so maybe uh, in volume 2 where where I have my process like faster I can stop more on the details and explain the story better so maybe that's why they would be longer but I honestly don't know because I don't have them written but I know it's three volumes and I know the first volume is 25 episodes what part of the comic process do you love hate the most Mm, this is a very hard question. Like, it depends on my mood, to be honest. Um, I think the part that I like the most is actually thinking about the story 
and designing um, the story, the characters, and just like the ideas in my mind because I feel like the rest of it, it's a lot of work, you know? Like you actually have to be there day by day doing stuff and I like like the fancy ideas in my mind and yeah, I just love coming up with story concepts and character arcs and ooh, I'm gonna leave this little tip there of what's going to happen, you know? I like thinking and I like writing, I guess but also character design. I love character design. Um, and what I hate the most, I think it's like how consistent you have to be with a comic to actually get it done. Because it's a lot of work and I think many people don't realize how much work it is. I didn't even realize before I started doing it. It's a lot of work. And it's a lot of doing it every day, every day. Like forcing yourself even sometimes to, to work and to advance in it, yeah. But I, I love all the, like I love thumbnailing, I love sketching, I love line art, sometimes. <laughs> I love coloring, shading, I like it a little less because I'm just not that good at it. So <laughs> I don't, I'm not comfortable with it yet. Lettering as well, I'm not comfortable with it yet, but I'm, I think I'm learning. But yeah, it depends on my mood, like sometimes I just feel like doing line art, sometimes I feel like coloring, um, and sometimes I don't, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't wanna do line art anymore. That also happens, so, um, but yeah, I like thinking of stories. I have a list of stories I want to write, so, <laughs> and when I have free time, I just think about them and like progress in the story and write a bit, but, so far I'm trying to focus <laughs> on three, because if not, I'm not gonna get it done. What is the hardest creative decision you've had to make so far in your career? Hmm, I think it's not that comic related, but uh, the hardest decision would have to be like my career, like what I chose to study. Because I chose to study advertisement and graphic design but for a long time I was debating if I should go to just art or, or I should do some illustration or some animation and I was having doubts um, about that like t till the day I fully entered my degree um, but I'm glad with my decision, I really liked advertisement and I think it's gonna be very useful for me even if I don't work in the advertisement world, but for any career path I choose, um, I now know how to advertise myself. So I liked it, it was fun. Uh, so yeah, I thought, I think it was a good decision, but it was a hard one. And I do still want to study animation at some point in my life because I just like it. <laughs> or storyboarding or like, anything comic related, anything story related. I like telling stories, I like making characters. So yeah, mm, I still want to do that. <laughs> but I decided to study uh, advertisement and it was a good choice. But yeah, not really comic related. What made you start and what keeps you going? I assume this is related to comics. What made me start comics? Um, actually, my first comic is not this one, three. It's another one called Shay's Origins, which you can find on Webtoon and Tapas, I think. I don't remember where I posted it. It's not finished. Um, I don't think it's a bad comic, but I got tired of it. Uh, mainly because I didn't, like, I didn't plan my workload on it good enough, and that's what I said about it is a lot of work and I wasn't properly like focused on how much work it was gonna be so I got tired of it. I maybe will come back to it at another point in my life but so far I'm working on three. Um, and what made me start that comic was that I wanted um, LGBT representation so it's a girl love story where the main character is a black girl and then their romance interest is a plus-sized girl and they fall in love. 
and uh, more things happen like there's superpowers and there's um, like a weird agency that recruits kids to fight and things but I think it's a good story and I wanted to write it because there is no romance plus sized relationships with any like straight even there's none, none, none of that and I wanted to be gay because I'm queer so <laughs> so yeah I wanted to do that and that's why I started and I've always liked to write stories so like I have a story of mine about superheroes from, from when I was like around six and it was also a comic but um, it's around I don't know where it is <laughs> But yeah, so that's why I started, I guess. And what keeps me going, honestly, is the community. I've made a ton of friends on Twitter and everyone's so nice and everyone's like so supportive. And they're just like, yay, go, go make your comic. And it's so exciting to be a part of that, of that excitement, of that creativity. And I like it a lot. So I might have, yeah. Without the community and the support that I have currently, even when I haven't even posted my comic yet, um, it's it helps a lot. Yeah, maybe if I've I had what? Sorry, English is not my first language. Um, if I had had that, I don't know in that sentence how that works. Uh, when I was creating Shades Origins, I would have continued if I had that support and everyone excited about my story. So, yeah, but I'm continuing with this one, I swear it. Um, also, another thing that helps um, continue this story is that I'm doing it as a university project. So I have to finish it because I have to give it and present it and say, hey, I did it. So that also helps. And well, uh, lately I've been learning how to organize myself to be able to accomplish the workload that a comic is. So maybe I can make another video about how to organize yourself to create comics because it's a lot of work and it's hard, especially if you are like me and also have university or even if you work and you have to like balance both things. I might do an, a video about that if you want me to because I think it's an interesting topic and I think it's something that a lot of us struggle with and I feel like I've been learning by myself uh, how to do it and by asking the community because I've also asked about this to you all on Twitter so yeah I feel like I have some tips that maybe someone who's just starting uh, they would help so yeah and um, comment if you want a video about that what are your biggest writing inspirations so of course Game of Thrones because <laughs> that's like how the story started um, but there's also a few books that are Spanish, so maybe you don't know about them. They're called uh, Memorias de Idun by Laura Gallego García. And they're like a fantasy but also has romance and it's a polyamory story. So if you like those, I totally recommend checking it out. It's, I love it. I love it so much. I read it when I was like 13, 14. And I love it to this day. It's the best. <laughs> I love it so much. And it um, inspired me a lot in the sense of like the world building and um, it, there being different races. There are dragons, there are unicorns, there are like snakes, flying snakes that's, that are called Rex. Beautiful. Recommend it. Yeah. So those two are definitely inspirations for me. I don't know. What else? Ah, another book by the same author, Laura Gallego García, called Donde los árboles cantan, which would be translated to Where the Trees Sing. Great book, great romance, love it. And also, I, I think there's a bit of that inspiration in, in three. And I don't know if there's anything else. Like, probably, but I haven't even realized. Um, but yeah, those are like three big ones, I guess. Um, you should totally check out 
Laura Gallego García, if you like fantasy. I don't know if, if you can find the books translated to English, to be honest, I've read them in Spanish and maybe you can, so if you can, check them out, they're great, they're beautiful, I love them. What are your favorite webtoons right now? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Okay, I have to go to webtoon. One second. It's thinking. Okay. My subscribed. Okay, okay. I really like by Hope Hort. I don't know. I'm gonna put the names in the comics here because uh, some names are different, difficult to pronounce. I'm sorry. Uh, but the comic's called uh, Corbett's Eye, it's LGBT and it's fantasy, so of course I love it and it's just, I love the art style, I think, um, I don't know what, what pronouns they use, so I'm gonna talk in they. Um, they have beautiful backgrounds, uh, beautiful coloring, beautiful shading, beautiful character design, beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. I'll probably link um, the comics down below so you can check them out. Beautiful. You should totally check them out. Um, okay, what else? Oh, a really good one by an Ukrainian artist who you can support. Uh, and they are using Patreon right now, I think, to support themselves fully. Um, the artist is called Dzban. I'm gonna write it here because I don't know how to pronounce it. But the comic is called The Silence of Words. Uh, again, LGBT. Beautiful art, beautiful, beautiful art. One of my favorite artists. Um, and beautiful story. And I love the character design and I love how uh, like slow it is in the sense of slow burn. Like, it's not slow burn really, but like they pay a lot of attention to detail and like the pacing in the story is beautiful that's what i meant that's what i meant beautiful check it oh another um artist that i love uh, there are 3d artists it, they're called lin Wally. again write it down and their comic is taito you can find it both on Webtoon and on Global Comics, I think. Um, and it's like very sci-fi, beautiful, like beautiful. The um, art is 3D, it's not like drawn. And it's such a different style and it's so beautiful. And you just like, it's very recognizable, very beautiful. Um, I, I, I love the character designs, I love the story. I really like sci-fi, sci so, uh, <laughs> and yeah, like, I, I just love it because of how different it is from every other comic that I've seen on both the platform and, like, uh, the platform and outside, like, printed. It just, I, I, it, it's very interesting to look at and to learn from, um, so yeah, check it out. If you like fantasy, um, you should also check out the Dreadcast Realm by Arts and Cats. Arts and Cats is an amazing creator. She's so kind, so nice. Uh, she makes beautiful art and beautiful animations too. And the comic is just fully my vibe. So, so like fantasy and cute. And the characters are so nice. And it's like kind of mystery as well. So like... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I love the story a lot. Uh, I um, I feel like we have very similar, not stories, because they're not similar, but vibes of story, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so if you like what I'm posting about three, you probably would like her story too. Beautiful. Um, she has like beautiful outfits. But yeah, she's fully... Uh, super nice creator that you should totally follow if you like supporting small like webtoons she's 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 your girl yeah check her out so nice like so nice if you like beautiful art styles um mortal advocate but alium fungus or something like that writing the names i am sorry <laughs> uh but yeah you like 
special art styles that are not like what you normally see on webtoon definitely check them out uh, beautiful 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 color coloring the colors like the color palettes beautiful the the style like i don't know how to describe it but it's amazing i will try to put some images like of the comic here like the uh, cover page beautiful you can see beautiful um and the story is like also kind of sci-fi and um the main character is like i don't know if it's exactly a robot but it's supposed to not have feelings and it has feelings and it's so cute and i like it i think this one has very similar vibes not story but vibes to my previous one the chase origins in the sci-fi i don't know but I like it a lot as well, so yeah, check it out, it's cool, I like it. Then of course, Backfire by Chlorized, or however you pronounce that. Um, also sci-fi, or maybe, I, mean, yes, I think it's more sci-fi than fantasy, but it's about like people who, with superpowers in like a kind of... Um, Roman gladiator environment, but not quite. Um, and I love it a lot. The art style is amazing. Um, she's so nice. Um, I also know her from Twitter, and I read her story, and I read, read sorry, I read her um, call to action entry. Beautiful, uh, amazing story. Like it's so interesting. Her character design is so interesting, and. It just makes you want to know more about each character and they have personality, like they are well developed. Um, they are very interesting visually uh, and uh, yeah, she's one of um, like my inspirations on the artist I've found on Twitter. So I definitely check, um, check her out. She's amazing, so nice. Um, she deserves all the support. And finally, if you like um, like kind of pirate e stories, pirate. It's fully pirate, I think. Um, I recommend Inevitable Destiny by Clarice, um, another amazing artist. Uh, she has such a cool story, and it, she's really advanced in her story, which is really cool. Like I think she just finished um, the first season, so beautiful. Um, the character designs are amazing. It's such a funny comic, but without it, uh, like, actually being, um, how do you call it? Humor? A uh, humor comic? I don't know. Like, anyways, it's funny. The character designs and the expressions she has, they're really funny. Uh, the story is really cool, and she's very nice. She's adorable. She also has a YouTube, so you can check her out. Um, I don't know link it around somewhere i don't know how to do youtube yet <laughs> but yeah that's that's the last story i'm gonna talk about right now there's tons and tons more that i should recommend maybe i can make some other video just with comics you should check out uh because they're amazing and i think webtoon doesn't push as much these like little creators that are amazing they're so cool and they should! They're amazing! <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a video with, with, with that if you want to, uh, comment down below. Last question is, um, how long do episodes take? My episodes depend a lot because I have some very long episodes and some very short ones. Like for example, my prologue was I think 25 pages, while the episode one was three pages <laughs> or four <laughs> so mm, that's like a big difference so it changes a lot but generally I try to make an episode in three weeks three <laughs> three it's called three you get it ah. okay sorry <laughs> um, so yeah but it depends mm, I have a um, list on I use notion so I have a like a table where I um, say like 
how fast I wanna go. Um, I can like if you want to make me. Uh, sorry, if you want me to make the organization how to organize your webtoon process video, I'll talk about this and I'll talk a lot about Notion because it's the app that I use to organize myself. Um, but yeah, I have like deadlines for each episode when it should be done and when it sh should start working when I should start working on it and yeah so I generally try to make it three weeks per episode but for example if I if I have one that's three pages I do it faster and then I take that three weeks and mix it with a big episode and do an episode in four weeks for example if it's a long episode but generally right now I'm on chapter 7 and most of my chapters are 8, 7, 9 pages, somewhere around that. So I try to stick to my 3 weeks per episode. Yeah. And those were all the questions. So I hope you enjoyed me rambling. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to improve uh, my... I always say this, but I'm trying to improve how I make my videos and I feel like right now I'm better at talking than I was at the beginning, so I'm proud of that. Um, I'm more comfortable talking, so yeah, that's good. But I still need to improve some things, for example, I need to improve like how I film like the frame and also lighting, because in my room I'm not in my room right now because of this problem, but in my room there's no light at all. I have a window, but no light comes in through the window, so it's dark all day, every day. So it's very hard to film on there, that's why I'm filming here. I was finishing the video, why am I rambling to you again? I am sorry. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to go back to making vlogs at some point so uh, expect that and I also have a lot of other video ideas so I hope you enjoyed those as well and I'll see you guys soon love you Mwah. thanks for watching and see you next time bye